Hey guys, this is Ben with Funnel Pro Academy and in this short video I'm just going to walk you through the two-step order form from ClickFunnels. So here you can see I've got a basically a free plus shipping strategy going on for this e-commerce side. We're starting off with a really cool scarf. We normally sell it for $26 but we're going to give it to the customer for free and they basically pay us $8.95 for shipping. The scarf I believe costs you know maybe $1.50 anyways when we drop ship it. That's including shipping so we've got a profit helps cover the ad cost everybody's happy <laughs> but so here you can see we're really selling the quality of the scarf um, because we want the customer to really feel like it's a quality scarf that they're getting for free right so they get that value up front it's just a nice landing page they go through they see more information about the scarf and information about the company so what i've got here is obviously the countdown timer and then a micro commitment from the company you know from the customer click order now or add to cart whatever verbiage you want to use there on the second page is where the magic happens with the two-step order form, right? So we've got this nice little image thing over here. We're doing some custom code there for that. Over here, we're basically just asking for the the name, email, and address on the first step, and then <clears throat> billing information on the second step. The reason we do that is because if they bail on us and abandon cart, then we can actually follow up with them. Um, in this first part, basically, they click go to step two, and we've already captured their email. So that way, that if they don't complete the second form and actually complete the transaction, then we can initiate the, you know, uh, abandoned cart email sequence automatically. So that's the whole benefit of the two-step order form. The second benefit is obviously just the, the micro commitments, kind of easing the customer into the sale. Um, so here you put in their credit card information, and here you click complete my order. There's one other thing that I didn't include on here, which I'm going to show you on the back end. Um, so here's inside of ClickFunnels, uh, there's that custom code for the images, and here's the two-step order form itself. The nice thing about that two-step order form in ClickFunnels, so when you're here in the settings, when I first saw it, I was a little bit like uh, overwhelmed, <laughs> but it's actually a lot easier. It's kind of um, uh, easier than you think, I guess. So you go through here, this first part is just toggling through what you get to see and what you can edit. Um, so you just click on which part you want to see and it'll kind of show you so you can kind of see what you're doing as you change the stuff. And over here is just filling out the information for each part. So this part right here is just as far as editing itself. So this first part is just what you see for the preview and here is just what you're going to be editing. So here I can tell it to hide step one settings so I can just see step two. Um, I want to make sure I'm seeing step two as I edit it so I can see what I'm doing. Um, here I can show step one settings. Uh, so that way I can go through and I can edit each of the settings for step one. If I want to do more advanced stuff, like let's say let's say I actually don't want to collect their phone number, um, or let's say I don't need their shipping because I'm doing a, a info product. All I do is I go here to advanced settings. You can click hide or show phone number right there. So let's just get rid of that phone number to make it just kind of the path of least resistance for the customer, right? And then over here I can hide or show shipping. That makes it super simple, right? All I'm getting is their name and email, capturing it, and then in the second step, I get their credit card information. That way, you know, same thing, I can I can reach out to them if they abandon the card on me. We'll do show shipping. And then the last thing is, let's go here to settings, show step two, so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Something we almost always use is the order bump. Highly recommend it, because you can get like 30% conversions on this. All that it is, let me show you here. Go show order bump. Is basically a one-click add-on. So if I'm giving them a, a physical product like a scarf, uh, I'll try and think of something, some type of info product that can add on to it for for 19 bucks or for for 10 bucks, right? And what they could be is kind of like a, you know, a fashionista guide on how to use the scarf the best, or 10 steps or 20 steps how to use it the best, you know, just to make it a really cool thing. So basically, they just click once and it adds it onto their order. They've already put in their credit card information at that point, so it makes it a little bit. Uh, kind of an easier sell at that point and so again that's called the order bump you can click hide or show if you click show order bump all you do is go to settings and you can go through here to the order bump part and you can change what the actual order bump part of it says that'll be right down here so there's the headline and then here's the actual wording for the order bump and then where you'll do the pricing for that is right here in the funnel step itself just go to products here I set the the shipping cost as a product itself and then I would just add on a product for the order bump and when you're doing that just make sure to check the little box that says this is an order bump so if you have any questions feel free to let me know that is the two-step order bump from ClickFunnels 
My name is Ben Claybrook with Funnel Pro Academy. Thanks for watching.